to output full NDI and NDIHX simultaneously, all we have to do is to enter Web UI and go to the camera settings, click the video tab, and you'll see the system mode now is full NDI priority. Only under this system mode can we output full NDI and NDIHX at the same time. Here, I'd like to emphasize that full NDI and NDIHX, they have two different IP address. To get the full NDI IP address, click IP settings and click the Ethernet tab and you'll see the full NDI IP address here. The upper one is the IP address for NDIHX. And also we can change the name, the channel name of full NDI by clicking full NDI and you'll see the device name here. Edit the name and click save. After everything is set, open the TriCaster or other switchers which can support full NDI to get the full NDI camera automatically. Right here, I'm using the studio monitor. So you'll see there's a name option, Telecam. And the IP address right next to it is the full NDI IP address of Explore SE. Next, if your bandwidth is not good enough to support full NDI and you want to switch back to the NDI HX only mode, we also got you covered. Go to camera settings, click video and change the system mode to digital priority. When we are switching mode from full NDI to digital, the camera will reboot because full NDI and NDI HX are developed based on different solutions. The full NDI is realized on FPGA. So every time we switch between system mode, the Explore SE will reboot. Now under the digital priority mode, full NDI is not available, but it ensures high quality and low bandwidth video transmission.